everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Not too much of a bad run in the last episode. In the last episode, we tried out hard mode with Azrael. We did all three things as um, on hard mode, because you can see we've got the blood around the heart, the star, and the Satan kill. Almost, almost killed the lamb. Well, you know, I, I was like, you know, I kind of want to do a challenge today. Let's try doing Cursed, shall we? Let's see how well we have a go at Cursed. I just decided to pick that one off the top of my head. We can see everything. It's going to take one room to go to our item room. So you've got to ask yourself with Cursed, how worthwhile is it to do things? Now, as Maggie, it's all right. I know we just got to make it to Mom, so we're not too bad. Cursed is one of these challenges where you've got to you've got to predict just how well a child's heart will work because child's heart pays out with some hearts, and b just how much you're willing to sacrifice to get to an item room. Like, if the item room was five rooms away, that's six hearts of damage. Is it doable? Is it possible to do that? And the answer is like, well, maybe. Little Chubby though is a great item. Glad that I glad that I sacrificed a heart to do this. And we will go into the curse room because it's the first floor. And it would hurt us anyway. So there is our heart used. What do we get? We've got nine lives. Oh, that's 48 hour energy. <laughs> uh, okay. Pretty fly. I can't take nine lives because there's a chance we'd die. But it's one third the way to becoming Guppy. Can we just try it? Sure! Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy and hope that every room, every room ha drops a heart. That's a... Uh, well, that was great. That was a great job, Geek Spider. Let's hope every room drops a heart. That's, uh, that's how fun we're going to go. Uh, we're probably going to lose, not going to lie. But I want to I wanna try and make it a little bit harder just for, just for shits and giggles. So every time we die, we will start in this room, but we start with one full HP. Uh, excuse me? How does that work then? Because we, we made it into this room, we cleared this room. We cleared the room though. Oh, okay. Alright then. So, does it just like... Are we stuck forever if we decide to leave like this way? Never mind. Yeah, we always start in the spawn room. Well, that's bullshit, because this room was cleared. We'd finished it off. Okay, well, never mind. Shall we just start again? We didn't even look at the seed. This is a seed that we don't look at anyway. Uh, exit game. Challenges. We'll still do cursed again. You know, I was like, oh, let's, let's pick up nine lives, because we can go through every room without taking damage, but... Curse of the cursed. Oh, you know what? Better start already. Better start already. The seed for this run is W J zero D Y eight W seven W J zero D Y eight W seven. If you're gonna play along at home, we'll ignore. We got a damage up, so we'll just pretend that that first. We'll just pretend that first thing never happened with the old. Uh, Old guppy affair. That was uh, that was nothing that you needed to see right there. <laughs> Oops. Oops. So nine lives is a thing that you can't take because you just get teleported to the previous room. Could that happen? The lovers. That's a great card. And I'm going to use it at the end of this floor because that'll just restore us back to full health. Oh, actually, maybe we want to just hold on to this lovers. So, we're fighting Duke Flies. Good thing we picked up that damage upgrade. It's going to make Duke Flies a whole lot easier to deal with. I wonder how deals with the devil work, because we're going to just keep taking red heart damage. So, if we've got Curse of the Curse, that seems kind of bullshit. But I'm sure I'm sure Edmund thought that up. But for now, let us just take out Duke Flies. And let us just uh, speed our way through this challenge here. Because if I can get some of the challenges knocked out as well... That'd be great. Well, we might as well pick up this heart. Latch key, two extra keys. That'll allow us to go to item rooms. We haven't had any bombs for secret rooms yet, so shops are off the cards right now. Either way, let's speed on downwards to the next floor. Very easy so far. Um, 
we're only one room away from the item room, so it's worth doing. Sometimes the item room might not be worth doing because oh, it can be it can be a horrible, horrible time having to track through five rooms and then back through five rooms, taking like four hearts of damage or something ridiculous. So it won't always be justifiable. I would love a bomb because I just saw a tinted rock up there. So a bomb would be a great. Would be great if you could. Oh, fuck you, grandfather. Like, oh god, how many of these dudes are there? Look, if you're gonna blow up. Oh, you're a dick. You're both dicks. You could have blown up near the tinted rock. I hope you drop a bomb because you're explosive. You're of an explosive nature. Right, you know what? I'm gonna try. Move you. Over into. This corner. No. Up, up. There we go. No, no, no. No, go, go, go. That way, you dick! Go that way! Oh, fuck you. I'll do it myself if I come across a bomb. No, no bomb. Pill. Good pill. Lemon pie. Oh, wish we would have saved it, but at least we know what it is. Bomb's wig! Make spiders! Alright, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So now, let's, uh, let's head through to the... Where do we get a spirit heart from? What? Let's head through and over towards the boss room. Still no bombs, so the room is just off the cards. We'll, we'll go from we'll go from there. We'll work it out from there. So if you would die, and then we'll see how this boss thing shakes out. Well, there's bomb, so I guess we will go to the secret room and see what we can get. Okay, there is a tinted rock. But we know where the secret room is. Will this get the tinted rock and the secret room? Well, if not, you've got two bombs, Spyro, so go for it. Well, tinted rock as well. Yes! Oh, it dropped, it dropped, uh, it dropped a troll bomb. Watch out for that. Secret room does contain mushrooms, so I'll happily blow up all these mushrooms, because if we can get some fine pills, that would be fantastic. Start building ourselves up even stronger. Uh, first pill. Telepills. Don't like that. Well, at least we know which pill is the telepills now. It's only going to cost us half a spirit heart. It's going to cost you a lot to get back, actually, Sparrow. Yeah. Well, there is a there's a tinted rock here. So, well, are tinted rocks as valuable? Well, I guess so, to try and preserve a deal with the devil. Maybe. I'm not too sure. But either way... Let's just run for it. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, so yeah, we took a lot of spirit heart worth of damage, but it was still spirit heart damage. This pill. Range down. Kind of sucks. All right, so we haven't got that. So those decent pills in the rotation, but you know what? It's fine. We survived. We kept the spirit hearts intact, so we didn't take too much red heart damage on this floor. Deal with the devil could be imminent. If it is, that'd be great. So, Dingleberry, go away, and then this guy go away. Let's see how this deal with the devil works. Hey, and there's a bomb to keep spirit hearts safe in the future. Again, I don't know if spirit hearts make or break anymore. Oh, God, we're not fast enough. Yes, we are, just barely. I don't know if spirit hearts make or break the deal with the devil, but we won't take red heart damage on this fight, and that's what's important. So we'll kill this dude, and then we'll, we'll look at this deal with the devil, because we should we should get one, in my opinion. Oh, monster is jumping. Jump right on top of a spider. That was terrible damage. I wouldn't be surprised if that gets rid of a deal with the devil. Although, I don't even know how fucking deals with the devil work now, because, you know, you can take no red heart damage, you still don't get one. So, I don't know. And even if you get one, is it really worth it anymore? Because they just contain red chests most of the time, which just have spiders and bombs and fuck you over. Oh well, let's uh, let's just continue onwards. Oh, no deal with the devil, didn't think so, because I took damage on the fight. Alright, old bandage, HP upgrade, good, good uh, start right there. Let's continue onwards. Should you have used that on the secret room? Where did... I didn't lose... No, I didn't. Oh, we start right next to the item room. That's good shit. And that's the poison torch. Now, there is a cursed room. Well, it seems we're not coming back. We'll just go to it. Oh, that was terrible. 
Yeah, we might as well just go to it at this point, and then, like, take a shortcut through that big room. So we'll pick this up. Of course, we've got no bombs. Of course, that's the case. Alright, <laughs> that's just a fucking joker at this point. Alright, Curse, you're, you're playing a game. I see that you are playing a game that I am not too happy with. Yeah, we're just gonna keep taking red heart damage, so I don't know how you're supposed to get a deal with the devil. Also, don't stop taking damage, Sparrow. That was, uh, that's going to be helpful if you want any chance of beating this run. It's very true. We'll go to the, we'll go to the secret room, see what awaits within. That chest could be helpful. We have no bombs, so it could be very helpful. Pill. Speed up. Alright. No bombs. Can't, no point in even going in the shop. No matter what this greed drops, it's going... Hey, what? This, what? Did you see that? He leaped out of his prison. He leaped... What the fuck? You can't just leap out of your prison, you dickhole. That's against the rules. Oh, you can't just break the rules like that. What a dick. Look down. Not the worst pill in the world. Uh, I think at this point we might have to use the lovers just to, just to get two hearts back after this boss fight. We'll see what this boss fight brings, but oh boy! Well, there's an unlimited key. Shame we've got no nothing to use it on. Uh, well, I guess we have, but we've got no bombs, so never mind. Let's just go fight the boss. The husk, very easy. It's just like Duke flies. We can deal with him. So we'll deal with him. Don't. Cough out spiders and shit. Let's just get rid of you. We haven't taken any damage. Give me a deal with the devil. Or give me something. Thank you. Range upgrade. Well, that's kind of garbage. But, all right, we'll uh, we'll pick up our heart. Mom's knife. Missing page two. Thanks. Thanks, Satan. You're a star. You're a star. I mean, thanks for half a heart. That at least allows us to. Uh, to use the lovers, or no, we'll just use your heart, get back to full health, or close to full health. Go from there. So, down we go. Where is everything? Item room is that way. Ooh. Ooh, don't know how I feel about that. We'll do it. It's still a relatively short floor, so I'm okay with doing this. Because we can use lovers if need be, which it might come to, and that item room could make all the difference. So we will go to it. But, oh, it was, it's quite a, it's quite a bit of a shitstorm, isn't it? That's good. good. Chain reaction. Now these two. Oh, that was bad. That was real bad. All right. It's taking a lot of damage. I'm not going to lie. That's bad. That's real bad. Look at this dude. Of this dude. So, give me a heart. Let's see what we'd get here. Hopefully, child's heart. No, not child's heart. All right. So, punching bag. Good item. I'm happy with the punching bag. Okay. We use. Why is there a heart there? Go into this room and see why there's a heart here. There's a full heart here. I guess that was from old bandage. All this poop. Let's see if we get anything out of these. We got a penny. Slowly building up, but we haven't got anything of worth. So at this point, we have to pretty much use the lover's card. I'll wait till we get a Yum Heart charge. Maybe old bandage will pay out. Oh, we're getting trapped in, getting trapped in hell here. Oh god, punching bag. Just let me out of this. Let me out of this. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna have to use the lovers. Oh, oh gosh. Oh god. There are so many bomb flies on the screen, it's not even funny. And I would love to chain reaction them like that. That makes it so much easier. Half a heart is okay. Oh. Alright. Half a heart. Heart. Lovers. Two hearts. Alright, there you go. So we did get, we basically managed to get to that item room for, for more or less free, which is fine. 
That one seems to be attacking the punching bag, which is great for me, because now I can just, like, come in and finish it off. A key! Not really what I want. And we've got one, we'll take one damage. There's a half a heart there. I've got to, I've got to take, oh, there's two half hearts. I think you've actually got to use bombs and take every advantage you can to pick up health. Even if, like, a bomb for half heart is normally not a good trade, you're not normally on Curse of the Cursed, are you? So, I feel like it's something we have to do whether we want to or not. So, sure. We'll get a full heart back. We're going to lose half of it going through this door, but hey, at least it's keeping us topped up. And we just got to make it through a couple more floors. It's a, it's a weird, it's very weird. This room is very easy if you just keep that guy on his side. If we don't break this poop and we just, uh, we'll, we'll break this poop. We'll do exactly the thing that I said not to do. I think he's taken a good amount of damage to, to be knocked down to his, uh, his next form. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, guy. There you go. Now you're in your next form. Right. Oh, could be big. This could be big. Two clubs. Doubles our bombs. We'll wait till we have some bombs. We'll wait till we're near a secret room. Alright, this could be amazing, or this could be absolutely horrifying. So, Fallen. A should attack the punching bag. Good boy. B. Oh, so he'll he'll chase me down when I'm um when he's not attacking the punching bag. Oh, sorry, he'll just chase me down in general. But, oh no, he does he does attack the punching bag. Oh, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake, fallen! Oh, now he comes after me! My gosh, my gosh! You know what? We're the two of clubs here, because I might have to I might have to be in the uh, the vicinity drop some bombs maybe because look they're both chasing me down I don't really have the speed to outrun these dudes the brimstone obviously didn't dissipate faster than he, he charged at me so this has been a terrible fallen fight we'll have a yum heart back after it and he's attacking that dude so we're okay this was a pretty terrible fallen fight and um, it could put us in a bad position for the next floor should he not drop what I need now the nail gives us spirit hearts, but it charges every six rooms, I think. Yeah, that is no good for us. We'll use it once to get a spirit heart. It'll allow us to build a bit of yum heartage back. But, oh, this is, uh, that was not good. That was not good. Going down, we've only got to survive two floors. I think it's possible to, to get through Mom without taking too much damage. We've got a yum heart charge as well. We've got to use it. Gotta use it. So we're fighting haunts. Uh, sorry if this overlay also pisses people off, but I need to see where everything is right now. Hey, 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 red fire. Go fuck yourself. Okay, there's two haunts. Being a bit of a dick about it as well. Where are you gonna appear? Just need them to appear like this. Oh, God, we've got no damage. <laughs> I still think we've got a good chance at mom. But we just gotta be careful about it. Really, that wasn't enough to kill that dude either? Alright. Well, there's one of them. There's both of them. One of them's gotta be dead. This guy's gotta be dead as well. Yeah, alright. Could be good. Could be big. Every tower card could be big. Tower, destruction brings creation. No, thank you. Would you go to the curse room at this point? No. Probably not. Because we've gotta, we've gotta save every piece of health we can get. And, uh, you know, there's a good chance, there is a very good chance that we'll fail Cursed. We will pretty much fail Cursed because we're not getting the payouts from Child's Heart that we need. I was expecting Child's Heart to pay out a lot more frequently than it did. I kind of overestimated it. The Fallen fight was obviously not the best fight in the world. Uh, there's a lot of zombie heads here, which is just not a piss off, but it's just kind of an inconvenience because... We have no problem taking the zombie heads out. So if they would just like to all, yeah, come up this way, that would be that would be great. If you could just like keep coming up this way. Uh, no, please, please come up towards me. That would be that would be great. There you go. Nope. Oh, all right. Whichever way you want to go, that's fine. Just as long as you die rather quickly, because this room is taking a thousand goddamn hours. Hey, zombie heads, come this way, please. Come this way. And go that way. You're dead. 
God, God, that took forever. Is there a drop? And is it Chow's heart? It's a chest. That's not Chow's heart. And it's callous. That's not Chow's heart. God damn it. Sorry, Curse Room. We need to, we need to try and save our health, which is uh, not being very prudent right now. Just because, my gosh, Chow's heart doesn't pay out all that often. Chow's heart actually really fucking sucks, apparently. That guy was dead. Fuck you. Oh, okay. So we're getting trapped with zombies. Hearts. I need hearts. Charles Hart, you need to you need to start pulling your fucking weight, buddy. Old bandage, you also need to start pulling your weight because it's kind of bullshit. Will you waste a full heart going to this item room? I've got to if it's mom's knife. But is the damage worth the health? Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Really? Oh my gosh, Charles Hart just doesn't fucking work. How is it? How possible is it? It's possible to potentially beat this floor. Well, is it possible to get to Mom? That's that's uh, that's will in the wind. If Charles Hart doesn't fucking work, does it? Got to use your heart every time it's ready as well. Right, Charles Hart. No, that's a penny. That's uh, that's a Charles penny right there. That, a new item. Yeah, ball of tar. I've never seen this before. Sticky, sticky feet. Okay. I guess that slows enemies down. Well, it doesn't... Oh, now, my predicament right here. Because my predicament is Charles Hart needs to pay... To pull its weight and pay out, which it fucking doesn't. So, we're in a... We're in a bit of a shitstorm right now. Oh. Oh, that's a regeneration. Hey! There you go. Thank you. So at least the enemies are pulling their weight. Keeping me alive just long enough to smack me back down. We've got seven cents, but I don't think the shop is worth it, to be honest. Because the shop just means another another whole crock of shit that we've got to deal with. Like another full heart's worth of damage. That dude exploded. That dude... Explosions are scary. I'll only go to the shop when I've got 15 cents and I know I could definitely buy an item. So this, this has to contain money, more or less. Well, it contains two things we can blow up for money. And it gives us mom's pearl, but we need child's fucking heart. Oh, okay. Well, we can do the clever thing and we can skip two doors worth of pain by using a bomb here. So that was that was worth it. We skipped two doors worth of pain. And there you go. A blood bank. I will blow it up. Blood banks could contain hearts, but second secret room could contain all the hearts. It could, we should go for the second secret room. Because what's one heart compared to like 12 hearts? Punching bag, don't touch that fucking bomb, I swear! Red chest. Spiders. Should've blown up the blood bag. <laughs> Should've blown up the blood bank. Oh well. Well, let's give us... No. Oh. At least the boss will give us a yum heart charge. Right, we built our way up a little bit. Don't take damage on the boss. It's Gish. It's a Gish. Gish could actually be kind of a pain in the ass with his little Gish. Because with the little Gish, he's going to be a bit of a dick. I need the little Gish together. I need him to, like, spawn the little Gish at the same, at the same like, pace as himself. Okay. See, so now he'll spawn the, the, he'll spawn the Gish at the same pace as himself. So, they're both over there, we know where they both are, it's easier to take them down. We're not doing it, despite the fact that we got Blood of the Marlow, we're not doing that much damage to Gish, really. I mean, look, we're only taking, what, one tiny bit of his health off every time! Wow, he, he like, predicted where I was going to be, and he just, he just launched that bomb. Oh no, he's aiming at Punching Bag. The bomb has got so much range that it's ranging onto Punching Bag. Oh my, this is going to take a thousand hours. I would love to trade one or two heart containers for Mom's knife, because they're probably going to remain empty for quite some time. Gishy's permanently slowed, it seems, like from my ball of tar, so I'm okay with this. We're just about halfway through the fight right now. Jump down towards Punching Bag. Uh, I shouldn't really stand too close to Punching Bag, but as long as Gishy's doing, doing that shit, that's fine. Gishy, please stop jumping. The fight's taken as long enough as it is. Don't jump, my friend. Please do not jump, my my friend. It's uh, it's kind of oh, okay. It's kind of 
hard to, to get you while you're jumping, and I know there's a little dude coming at me, but I managed to like take a diagonal shot, kill him. Gish is nearly dead. Gish is going down, so we'll probably get little Gish for this. Getting little Gish, obviously, pretty darn good. Because then we've got two slowing items. We've got the ball of tartar for our own slowing and little Gish for Gish's little Gish's slowing. All right, he's dead. We get a spirit heart. Don't know if that means anything. No deal with the devil, because of course we're taking a lot of damage. Last floor. Last floor. Oh boy. We can, uh, we can do this. The item room is on and on the way. Come oh, on. So, yeah. Let's do it. The item room is on the way. That means we don't have to waste hearts getting to the item room. Of course, we have to also not waste hearts by getting hit by these invincible school dudes. So, that's one dead. Let the school dudes bounce how you need them to bounce. Try and get the other one dead, like right now. Right now. Needs other dead. Thank you all, bandage. So we lost our spirit heart, and this is where our heart. Oh. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Got range. Ask him for me. Piss off. Ask him for me. Piss off. Ask him for me. Fuck out of here, ask him for me. I know it's going for punishing bag, but still. You, you, yeah, you all go for the punching bag. No, 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 no you don't understand. You don't understand. You can't come this way, Mask of Infamy. You can't come this way, Mask of Infamy. This is, uh, this is some intense, intense shit right now. Mask is protecting its heart. I, I applaud it for that. Gotta, gotta be careful, because I can't take damage on this heart that's uh, chucking out bullets. Okay, all good, all good. We did it, we did it, punching back. That was good teamwork. One vaginal bomb flies. Not that hard. Two bombs. Next room. This room. Could be tricky. Take out one. Yep, yeah, I knew we were gonna get damaged. Oh, come on, Charles Hart, pull your fucking weight, please. Pull your weight, Charles Hart, because you're you're not right now. You haven't dropped a single heart across this entire fucking run. Yeah, and that's still not a single heart. So fuck you, child's heart. But not pulling your weight whatsoever. Broken arm, fish head, goat hoof. I would love to try them all, but I've got to keep child's heart on the mere hope that it pays out. So uh, onwards we go. Don't know how I didn't get damaged there. These bouncy skulls are being complete dicks. Just kill one of these things, just kill one of these things to make dodging so much easier. There we go. Now the other one, thank you for attacking the punching bag. Alright, everything's dead, there's a key. Let's go to the item room. This room is another fucking triple shot explosion bonanza. Ugh, just kill him. Come on. Green turret head, this is what I'm paying you for. Paying you to, to kill the greed. Right. He's dead! Last item room. We haven't seen it, but I know where it is. Controllable friend. Could prove helpful. We'll use bomb to get chest. Chest can contain red hearts. It contained half a red heart. That allows us to go to this next room. Okay. You know what? Fuck that. We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna let. Oh, you dick! You dick! I was gonna leave controllable friend over here. All right. Well, controllable friend becomes worthless on this this area. Oh shit! Oh shit! We're all coming round. No, oh, it's all right. Oh, there's a battery. Is there a way of? I don't know where they are. As long as I stay around here, I should be all right. They're attacking the punching bag. Ow, fuck! You one of them would get me. Right. Is there a way of getting a full heart charge? With. I don't know, let's go in the shop. Of course, our last shop would contain greed. 
Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stand over here. Look at how much Blue Baby's only friend does. I'm just gonna dodge. And let yeah, that was that was great. Red chest, eh? Spiders, eh? Oh, and because we fought greed, we got a full Yum Heart charge. So Yum Heart, Yum Heart, one bomb. Give us Spirit Hearts, or it could give us Dry Baby. I'd rather try for the Tower Cards, to be honest. So we'll try. See what these skulls have to offer us. Nothing. All right then. Let's move onwards. We will have enough health to get to Mom's heart, it seems. Oh shit! Don't get hit. Don't get hit by these dick holes. The hands need to go. The hands need to need to go. Because if we get teleported back all the way back to the start, we're fucked. That's some uh, that's some crazy scary shit. There's a bomb. We can get to the secret room. We can skip. Oh, we can't skip. We can't skip. Because we don't have two bombs, to, we'll have to take that room on the chin. There could be something useful in here if there's another couple of pennies, which doesn't matter because you know I needed a bomb. Do we dare? Yeah, you know what? Spawn here. Spawn here. All right, get knocked up. I was so hoping that would open the open the other way. Alright. Oh my god, it's the greatest thing in the world. Alright, don't move. Here's how you do this. Take out each fly. And then... Full health. Full health. Okay. Brimstone spider. We're just gonna let Big Beautiful Fly deal with this situation. Or Blue Baby's only friend. Spirit Heart. We've, we've got this now. Scary at some points, but we've got this. So we're gonna keep beautiful fly near the center because mom's just gonna keep stepping on beautiful fly. She's gonna step on me. So I think, yeah, beautiful fly does a lot more damage than us because we can predict where mom's gonna land. And we can just like leave big beautiful fly basically right next to us. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should just shoot. Maybe we should just shoot. Or is she going for punishment? No, she don't go for punishment. I'm gonna try to use beautiful fly as best as I can. I can get it like up in the up in the eye like that. That was great. So mom's coming down. Big beautiful fly. Uh, try and get it to the other side. Oh god! All right, just fuck the fly. That's what we do. That's what we do. We say fuck the fly. Focus on dodging. You've come this far. Don't lose to to red mom. Red mom is the easiest mom. Fuck the fly. I thought, you know, the fly definitely does do more damage, but trying to make the fly land on the leg is is not what we need. But in fact, what we should do is bring the fly upwards like this, because then it's going to go left and right as we're firing, and mom's eye usually comes out from the left and right doors, so at least if we've got uh, Blue Baby's only friend on the doors, It'll just swing back and forth between the two doors and just hit the extremities as they come out. All right, we've got to go up a bit. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave, we're just gonna leave the, the beautiful fly. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I need to. Don't move the tears. Move yourself. There you go. And blue fly passed through. Blue fly is passing through the leg every time it drops down because the leg is, uh, the leg's being a bit dumb right now. There we go. Done. Done, done, done. We are not doing the boss trap room. That can go fuck itself. Credit card has appeared in the basement. All right. Good, good, good chuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, good run. It was kind of a tricky run because of all of the uh, the spiked doors. That does seem to make things a little bit harder, doesn't it? Yeah, just a bit. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, a rebirth if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like. And if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next one.